All right, so today we're gonna make some French toast. Okay, so we got our pan. We have some egg over here that I've whipped up and I put a little bit of vanilla in it. Um, we have a little bit of butter and then uh, we have some toast and I like the uh, Texas style toast because it's a little, little bit thicker. So first thing is pull a little bit of butter in the pan. Yeah, I know that looks like a lot of butter. I won't use all of it. Turn the heat on. And while that's melting, let me show you the vanilla that I use. So I use this vanilla and we put a little bit of van vanilla in the egg and we whip it up together. And I turned on the wrong eye on the stove. Okay, there we go. Now the right eye is turned on. So, melt our butter, get it all over the pan. Okay. Now I'm gonna put my toast in and let the toast pick up some of that butter. Just soak it up like a sponge. Sorry. Yes, I wash my hands. I always wash my hands when I cook. All right, turn it over. Do it again. If you ever put paper towel on the stove, make sure your stove is off. Don't put paper towel on the hot stove. I'm gonna tell your dog to stop barking before you make a video. Okay, so we have a little bit of butter on our toast. Now we're gonna take our toast. We're gonna put it in the egg, just like that. And uh, this is actually three eggs and I, I whipped it up for about two minutes and I uh, put my vanilla in, stirred it around really good. So I put my toast in, I flip it, make sure the toast soaks up egg all over. Some people make this with, um, with non-toasted bread. I don't like to do that. I, I prefer bread that's been toasted, hence the name French toast. So then you put your egg and your toast back in the pan. You can hear it sizzling, but it sounds good. Let it sit there for a few seconds, flip it. And uh, just keep letting it cook on both sides for about, <clears throat> usually I do it for two to three minutes just to make sure the egg is thoroughly cooked. I don't want it take the chance of anyone eating a raw egg and uh and it's good so while we're doing that i know this is not fancy like the tv chefs i usually put some uh sugar on it after it's finished all right let's flip it this is real easy to make preparation time takes more than the cooking time also, while you're cooking this, make sure that you uh, watch your heat. Your heat doesn't get too high. I like to keep my heat on about medium. If you get it too high, the butter in the pan will turn really dark and it'll start, start to put a dark edge on your bread just like that. And it'll smoke and you don't want the butter, you don't want your, uh, your, your butter and your uh, toast to, to turn dark and burn. So you just gotta be careful. Take your time, do it right. Now about that butter, so I said earlier that I don't I don't use all the butter, and that's that's not exactly true. Let me show you why. When I take my French bread out of the pan, I usually put it on a uh, paper towel or a napkin like that, and let let the uh, paper towel absorb some of the excess butter off the surface. Some people want that, some people don't. Sometimes people don't care. They say, oh, just put it down, let me eat it. All right, so now the French toast is done. We're gonna put a little bit of sugar on it. Yeah, I don't have one of those fancy sugar spreader things. This'll do. There you go. 
So that's it. French toast. Oh, I forgot to take the paper towel off the plate. I was wondering when you were going to do Well, that. I'm not a fancy TV chef. Not yet. Okay, last piece of toast. So, whoever gets this last piece of toast gets a little bonus because after I take the egg and I make sure it's, I mean, take the toast and make sure it's covered with egg and I put my toast in the pan. I'll go ahead and pour the rest of the egg around the toast. So whoever gets the last piece gets all the extra egg on it also. So um, we'll let this uh, cook for just a second and then I'll flip the whole thing and um, it'll be yummy. I'm not sure if French toast actually came from France. I know that uh, the first time I had it was in New Orleans, probably a long time ago, <laughs> 30 years ago, something like that. <clears throat> Just about every restaurant in New Orleans serves um, French toast and grits for every restaurant that serves breakfast. And some people get fancy, some people put tomatoes on their toast and put different vegetables or some people, some people put green peppers and onions in their egg. I don't do all that. So I'm trying to prepare it as fast as I can. So I don't have time to get that fancy with it. But this is really good. I'll cut off that extra egg. There we go. Let that sit for about two minutes and it'll be ready to eat. I notice that sometimes if I go eat, some, eat French toast somewhere in New Orleans, they, they put like two ounces of butter in the pan and they just submerge it in butter. I don't like that. I like to, uh, I like the butter, but I like to use the minimum amount of butter necessary to prepare it. I don't like my food smothered in butter, so I always put a paper towel or something on a plate and I'll, um, when I get it out of the pan, I'll sit it on there and let the paper towel sort of absorb some of the excess butter. Come here, little guy, you gotta flip over. All right, turn the heat off. Got my pan ready. And just let it slide out onto the pan. And there you go. The perfect French toast. Now, don't leave your hot pan on the heat and don't put your hot pan in the water. Just move your pan to one of your eyes that's not cool, not a hot and let it cool. So, I hope you enjoy your French toast.